in this video a kind of overview uh, of say many circuits that I made in the past in the during the past year and some of them were published on YouTube others were not published on YouTube but anyway so a table full of circuits uh, at first I want to say pen over somewhat to show what this is all about it's about radio circuits uh, also about say switch circuits and regarding radio here you see for instance more or less ideal shortwave coil and I've talked about it in earlier videos how to make it all the descriptions are in earlier videos but anyway this was by the way a very interesting experiment that I did uh, I found the schematic on uh, one of the websites I think it was a uh, AmericanRadio.com, and the idea was that with we when we have here a fixed coil inside, and you can move another coil here uh, from the upper part to the other part. There is, of course, say uh, there are different ways of coupling that coil. That means that you can tune in here via that way uh, to uh, different frequencies. And I've used here by purpose a field effect transistor. No, not a field effect transistor I've used. It was a normal BC547B that can, by the way, go to approximately 9 MHz. But anyway, it didn't work, so I could not publish it on YouTube. Moving this coil and perhaps I'm gonna make a new video about it but of course I have to search that completely out and completely anew. Anyway, one of the circuits. This is the more or less classical um, NPN P and P and audio uh, amplifier for say approximately 50 sorry 300 milliwatt the circuit is surely in my book one of my books say um, schematics to audio amplifiers and loudspeaker boxes and there's also a video on my YouTube channel and at the moment, of course, I'm filming this and I cannot give the link. But anyway, perhaps I will try to do it. To give the link to the original video, etc. Uh, here we have, perhaps interesting to tell, uh, say a kind of blocking oscillator, a kind of Yule sieve oscillator. It was made with a, not with a ferrite uh, transformer, but on a, uh, an iron pin. And it worked very properly during many months. And the schematic is somewhere on my YouTube channel. And when you want to know, uh, go get more ideas about what, what is everywhere on my YouTube channel. Go to my channel trailer, Radio Fun 232 on YouTube. And then in the looking glass, uh, type in keywords like radio, oscillator, you'll see, um, etc. etc. Every word that you can say. Uh, think of when you are working on a certain project. 
this was an imper important project uh, regarding the oscilloscope circuit uh, worked with a say classical old school high voltage generator uh, it worked with, worked with two high voltage transistors and the schematic is surely on YouTube and when you are interested go to the looking glass on my YouTube channel and search for, uh, for the word oscilloscope. This is by the way say kind of normal circuit made with a as far as I could see I think it was a B uh, no, it's a TL178, that's a field effect transistor op amp, has a very high input impedance, that's a good property of it, and you can do many things with it, and as far as I know, this was the circuit of the uh, square wave oscillator, that could work to very high frequencies. Link is uh, not a link, but uh, you can find it via the looking glass on my YouTube channel trailer when you uh, say use a word like um, TL071. Uh, this was say a very simple unit made with uh, say a kind of chip that you can find everywhere and buy everywhere. It's very cheap. Uh, it works in a high frequency band, say four seven hundred sorry four hundred and seventy mega cycles. That's the band where that works. Uh, that's perhaps not very precise, but you can find, surely find, uh, the radio band where these chips work. These chips are extremely cheap, say two dollars or so, four dollars, and you can make a, a radio receptor with it. And I've made here a circuit where the chip switched a 12 volt relay. Uh, well, what's this? I don't... well, this also the TL071 field effect transistor chip usable and I think I've used it here uh, as a kind of audio filter I'm not very sure. Anyway, no problems. Uh, it means also when I look over all my uh, say um, circuits that I published on YouTube, I also, like everyone, have to find the exact um, video on YouTube and also the exact schematic and in general I have always pu published the schematic during the videos. So that's one thing to take in account. Anyway, what's this? Um, I have to study that somewhat. Well this is the this is a 555 chip the NE555 chip. It's a timer and you can see the potentiometers here and with the different different potentiometers you can set the frequency, the output level etc etc everywhere about the everything about the 555 is on the World Wide Web. So and also on my YouTube channel by the way uh, this is another unit 
that I made in the past. It is a uh, stabilizer unit for a voltage supply. Say classical uh, standard analog uh, series transistor voltage supply made with a BD139 and a BD743C. And that means that this unit it looks tiny, but it can give out an enormous current. Stabilize. And when you want to know more, uh, go to the World Wide Web, search for series uh, regulators, and and or go to my YouTube channel to the Looking Glass, and. Um, Search with words like uh, voltage stabilizer, etc. This is this is a classical seven four zero zero TTL logic chip that can be used as a. a Square wave oscillator, very very simple. I think it's also on my YouTube channel. I don't want to pay too much attention to it. Here we have the same circuit, as far as I can see. Uh, yes, this is also the same circuit. You can make a very good square wave oscillator with the help of a 7400 uh, TTL chip. Works on 5 volt, etc. Uh, here we have a um, regulator. Say it's not a regulator, but it is a Schmidt trigger working with uh, three transistors and it can switch very exactly on a certain voltage and there is a video of that on my YouTube channel. What's this? Oh well it dropped. Um, a kind of standard uh, crystal oscillator As far as I know, a Pierce type of crystal oscillator made with, I don't know that exactly, but anyway, with a field effect transistor, etc. Also on my YouTube channel. And what's this? A beeper, very simple beeper, beeper circuit made with one NPN and one PNP transistor. Here again a standard power supply made with a Dalekton standard power supply. What's this? Uh, well I think it's an oscillator working on a very low frequency. My camera runs out. I have only one minute, so I have to be very short. This is of course interesting. A coil. When you make a coil, uh, always indicate the numbers of the windings. Can be used in all kinds of electronic circuits, especially oscillator circuits. So this was more or less all. Thanks for watching. Uh, wish you luck. And much more info via the looking glass on my channel trailer that is Radio Fun 232 on YouTube. And type there the uh, words about the circuits that you want to see. 
and on my YouTube channel I always uh, publish uh, circuits that are very properly tested. If not, uh, connect me.